Hello everyone, Proxy War here. Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of my uh, green skin uh, campaign with Grimgore Ironhide for Warhammer 2. We're picking up where we lost left things. We had just taken Iron Rock and that's pretty much it. Really, the last battle we fought uh, the um, the Red Fans and um, Grimgore was um, pretty much expanding his territory a little bit. We've got some Skaven uh, issues going on, but we'll deal with that when we upgrade our... Um, keeps and stuff to the next level so we can build more boss tents and all that good stuff so i think in um, iron rock here instead of building the resource thing over here well that's pretty cool actually um we're going to get um not the fence we need um idols just to help get our growth up so we can quickly deal with the scaven corruption that's happening within our lands uh, th oh yeah, I was, th I was th um, watching some YouTube channels. I forget who it was though, and they were talking about Warhammer Three is going to set. It's going to be over here. Was, that's going to be that part of the map. So, pretty huge map. This is like the absolutely massive. I mean, with all with all of them. So, look. I don't know when it comes out. I think it's next year or the year after. So um, Warhammer Three. It's going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Anyways, uh, we were waiting to. Uh, yep, we can build some archers now as well. So let's do that. Uh, what do you want? Do you want orc? Uh, yeah, probably the orc ones. What's the difference? Poor accuracy, poor leadership, weak against armor. So, yeah, probably just three of you. Should probably, um, should disband those. Well, wait, wait a minute. Let's take a look. So, shielded, expendable, poor, uh, doesn't say anything to do with bonuses against large, actually. And usually, like, the, um, the spearmen are good against that. So, just shielded. Um, hmm, so that's actually, yeah, then we should get rid of you. Oh, we can only recruit three at a time, so maybe not this, this, this case. Actually, let's, um, move him within our territory, which is, where's the border? Ah, oh, there it is. Just start moving him down. Oh, they got a 11 plus the garrison, I'm sure. Oh, we got the war, um, the boss tent up, right? So, I think, anyway. Let's just take a look. So, 90 units in each thing. Okay. Um, yep, so we can recruit a hero now, I think. Uh, no characters available. Oh, okay. Fine. Only the shaman's hut. Okay, sorry. No, no, no. It's not, it's not yet. We can't We can't get them just yet. That's a golden big enable hero. Uh, I don't know if those are the scouts and stuff. I can't remember. It's, it's been that long since I played this game. I'm telling you, it's been months. Um, it's not. Yeah, it's been like maybe like four or five months. Oh, it's been a long time. Okay, that's um in the turn. I will pause it here. Okay, so we got some um, diplomacy going on. Let's see, military access with the um, Wazag, the great green prophet. Uh, such a cool character. Um. Military access. Who are they at war with that wants to go through? You know what? I don't actually mind that. That's fine. We are friendly, so that's okay. If they weren't friendly, then I would say no. But it's okay. I'm just going to leave it as it is now. Should have enough, but they are recruiting as well. This should be a full stack now, if I'm not mistaken. Swinging, trying to gather those uh, the winds of magic. Oh, You've got some more diplomacy. Yep, 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 yep. Not humans. Yeah, you'll be lucky to still be breathing in a moment. Ah, this guy, non-aggression. We are friendly. Um, I don't plan on going north just yet. So yeah, I don't mind. We can, we can accept that. We want to go south and take out the red fans. Oh. Oh, okay. We could retreat, but I think was this? That's even. Ah, oh, it's even. Let's fight it. We should be able to do this. We're not resolved when it comes to when it's that close, you know. Not at all. So the Battle of Iron Rock, Part Two. Pretty much. Okay, there we go. Load it in. Let me see it. Mm. I've got some cool orc sculptures there in the back. So their reinforcements are coming behind, but only had like two units, or whatever. So they will be attacking us because we have our, our artillery here. So yep, that's fine. So we're just gonna group these guys up. I don't lock group. I don't. I don't. 
I really like to do that. Oh, Grip. There you go. Grip and Gore, um, yeah, you guys can be in, like, in the middle, I guess. Oh, there, that's fine. Can you swap? No, it doesn't drop there. Okay, um, that's pretty much it, really, because you don't need to group up the rest. I'm actually going to pull back a little bit. Uh, we'll two. Sort of do something like that. We can charge them down. Orc boys, orc boys, we'll put them this flank, I think, today. And then you guys go there. Spears, we'll put them on the sides, yeah. Uh, archers, which, which is unfortunate we didn't get the others. Oh, ah, we put Grimgore right there. Oh, okay. We need to actually uh, turn a little bit. We need to turn just a tad. There we go, just to face them. Cool, let's just uh, speed things up for now. Almost in range. Okay. That's gonna want them to engage us. Damage by artillery. Yep, you have been fam. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, take the uh, ball boys to start putting them on the flanks. Oh, there's a lot of horns going on. Okay, maybe we should start focusing on some of their actual sword units. So, orc boys, they need to fight them. You guys just need to sort of sit there and take it. Or we can maybe send the archers quickly, because they do run quite quick. Okay. Stop putting you guys ready for the charge. Uh, come on, take out their archers, please, quickly. So they are running down. They in their purple outfits. Pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They're just ready to get going. I absolutely love it. Okay. Oh, they still have only lost like one chariot, have they? Not so great. Okay, let's just charge back now. Just uh, we need to close the distance with their archers because if we just take it, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, we're going to send Grimgore after their hero. Yep, you guys can face back. We'll send uh, the goblins against you guys. You can take out their archers. Oh, they're actually um, sending this way. Well, they are a low threat, but I don't think these guys have poison. It's fine, they're low threat, so oh, apparently they're high threat now. Because they've been buffed, I'm sure. Grimgore, he doesn't have any abilities and spells and stuff. Just yet, anyway. Let's take a look. Okay, we're slightly losing. Wow, these guys are actually decimating our orc boys. Orc ball boys. Let's pull them out. Come on, we need to take down the leader as soon as possible. Come on, Grimgore, take him out. Uh, he's routing. Once they, because they have, the orcs have quite low leadership. So once that happens, once they break, it's all good. Uh, we'll go sh straight in after, after the archers now. I think. Yep, just because I said low threat, and then all of a sudden we became high threat. So yeah, these guys are actually quite, were quite deadly against our cavalry units. Okay, he's leaving. We'll start flanking. There we go. Look at the charge here. Oh, very nice. And uh, do let me know um, what you guys think of the thumbnail. I, I put quite a bit of, well, not that much work, but you know, I try, I try to make it as cool as possible, you know, for this campaign. So let me know if you know whether you like it or not. How are we doing across the lines? Uh, we're doing right, actually. Oh, we need to actually re-engage now. <laughs> oh, you need to change direction. There we go. You need to shoot these guys, because... Uh, I guess you're fighting now, so, yep. So, yeah, it's so the Black Orcs just coming in, hammering, killing everyone. So, that we've taken the lead now. Yeah. Uh, we're breaking the center here. Come on. Then Grimgore, go fight him again. Say my name! <laughs> Say my name! Oh, my friend and I, um, who likes the 
Lizardmen so much. Um, we go gym together a lot, and then we just joke around when, about Warhammer, and we like just say to each other, "So my no," <laughs> so funny, absolutely funny. Yep. Destroy them. Isildur. Yep. Uh, yesterday, my girlfriend and I we were watching all of the Hobbits. So we watched all the Hobbits, and now we're in Lord of the Rings. Now, absolutely amazing. It's, it's nice to do marathons. We started with Harry Potter. So we watched, we watched all the Harry Potters and then Lord of the Rings now, so that's what we'll be doing. And then after that, we decided to do Star Wars. Uh, but I won't be watching the Disney's, well, more the Disney's anyway. I will watch Rogue One, because Rogue One's pretty cool. And then... Oh, you need to get re-engaged there. So we'll be watching episodes, like in chronological order, so we'll episode uh, 1, 2, uh, then the Clone Wars series. We're going to watch all the Clone Wars series. And then, you know, uh, was three Rogue One, I think, first, and then, you know, so we'll be watching them in chronological order. So, yeah, pretty cool. I don't, I don't quite like Rogue One. I thought that was a pretty decent Star Wars. So it wasn't too bad, actually. I quite liked it. No, it's Rogue One first and then Episode 4. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We have vic That's it. Victory. Very nice. End of there. Oh, it's like touch and go. I wasn't sure if we were going to win that, but actually it was alright. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Fairly solid. Not a face you want to look up like every morning, you know, you wake up and there's your husband. Oh, not a very pretty guy. But then again, they don't have orc um, woman, so. Yep, they just spawn. They are mushrooms. We are going to eat the mushrooms now. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that's why, because they came here. I thought that was... Oh, yeah, I was like, I thought they set it out, but no. Oh, that was Iron Rock. I'm confused. I'm, I'm doing two recordings at the same time today, so that's why. Uh, let's see. So we are actually a very high reliability. I think that's quite interesting. That's what was an orc faction. No, we will reject that. God, they want to take a return of replenishment, but so do we. And we get our archers now, so... Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Cool. Enemy killed in battle. Yep, we killed him. Very nice. There you go. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna spawn a wasp soon, I think. Ooh. Hmm. Do we risk it? Do we auto resolve? Hmm. Probably not. I don't. I don't trust it. So we will fight this one again. So we're gonna try and do. Like half an hour long battles, oh not long battles, half an hour episodes, and try and keep it to work one battle a turn, depending on what's happening. Obviously, if we have to fight, we have to fight it. But like this one, I don't trust we're going to win if I auto resolve it, so we'll just fight it. Oh, see, I don't think this is a base map. This is the mod, that I think anyway. So if if it is, if it is the mod, then look. Because um, the reason why I haven't put, um, you won't know what, I haven't said what mods it is, because I, like, I did episode 1 and 2 today at the same time, so that'll be why. So, yep, this is the, so if it isn't a, a, uh, normal map, I mean, it might be, I don't know, <laughs> I can't remember, it's been so long since I played. So, we're gonna just actually throw up all our Orc boys straight up. Um, we should maybe skirmish straight, like, a little bit. So we'll, we'll do that. Put some skirmishes. Our orc ball boys have always taken some damage. We'll put our little... Grimgore Ironhide. Yes, you are absolutely fabulous. Can our Doom Diver catapult not quite hit? Can we do attack ground? Is they... No, not quite. So we have to move up a little bit. That's fine. We'll move the army up. We'll do something like that. We'll split you up into like two groups, so one goes there. Oh, it will kind of be the same, wouldn't it? Because, and we'll block them like that. Uh, is it you that's going there? We'll rearrange that as that comes by. We'll put uh, the Orc Ball boys there. Uh, little Gobbos, we'll um, help you protect the skirmishes, so we'll do that. I think we're, we're in range now. Oh, maybe not. Let's go after them, just in case we're going to hit the uh, building there. I just want them to come out of their defensive position, because... And if we can hit them with artillery, that's fine. So let's just speed it up now, see what happens with our Doom Divers. Yeah, they come in. Very good. So, I mean, we'll, we'll just keep doing that in the meantime. 
Where have you seen the Black Orcs around to flank? Oh, I can't tell who's going where. Who's going all the way there? So do you guys. Yeah, do you guys need to um, actually just do that. Let's put you to the front. So absorb that charge. Actually, you can kind of back up the um, other Orcs here. Oh, Grimgor. You need to be on the front lines, man. You, you need to get stuck in there. So we're just going to keep uh, just keep um, weathering them down a little bit for now. Because why not? We have the advantage. Like, why would we just charge in there? I mean, we are orcs, right? We are orcs. We're supposed to get in there and just destroy. But we are smart orcs, and that's why Grimgore is going to consolidate all the other factions. Because he's a smarty orc, isn't he? Keep going, keep going. Oh, there. So we're already riding that. I mean... That's fine. If the AI wants to sit there, that's fine. That makes it easier for us, anyway. We got halfway through ammunition. It's pretty cool. I'm surprised it does damage. You know, like, it makes no sense to me. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> okay. Yep. Let's speed up just a little bit more. We'll just keep, we'll keep getting, let's get rid of the archers. Oh, they're coming back now. That's fine. It's because they can glide, so actually, they, maybe they won't actually clip the building, they sort of like fly over it and then like land there. Nice. Come on, break, break, break. Go. Look, the drop in leadership's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll go in now. I thought they'll come out, that's why I put them here. I guess we could flank around. So I'll put you there. Just give them a little bit of a head start, you know. Chopper's ready. They're all getting engaged. You don't have to give individual orders. I think that's all right. You go. Let's just go there. We'll, we'll send you around over there. Uh, Grimgore, don't forget you. So you like careful with my generals though. You don't want them to die, you know. Yeah, they, okay, we'll just decimate them now. We let them stand a chance. Can we take out some of these Orc Ball boys? Orc boys? Oh, man. <laughs> Such a tongue twister. I keep saying that. I want who do they have here? Little goblin master. There you go. Little shaman, maybe. Yeah. Got a cool outfit on. We're the green tide. We are the green tide. You are very right, sir. Oh, they actually had some men in here. Well, where's our gobos? We'll send some of the smaller units. Um, to go fight them. Yeah, we're charging in now. Where's our orc ball boys there? There they come. Nice. Just give our individual attack orders now on the different archers. There we go. Something like that. Choppers ready! Choppers ready. Get your choppers out! <laughs> yes. Let's take a look under the causeway here. Such a good looking map. I mean, that's one thing that War, um, the Warhammer has absolutely nailed is the terrain. Absolutely gorgeous. It's fantastic. I mean, everyone knows this. Yeah, but I just want to re uh, uh, just say that, you know. Let's take a look at the archers firing. I haven't really seen our archers yet. Yeah. How's our Doom Divers are moving in? They're out of range. Oh, they're surrounded all our orcs here. Oh, the fair play, they have, they have surrounded them. There we go! Just start, let's just start killing them. They're, they're breaking in the center here. Uh -oh. Where's their leader? Oh, he's down here, is he? Grimgore, you need to go smash some skulls! You're gonna get some you filthy orcs. Go! Oh, wrecked. Oh, the carnage. The blood. There we go. Break in. Oh, I should show everyone the graphics and stuff. I'm playing pretty much very high, ultra and everything. You know, I'll turn down some of it just because... I could play an ultra, I guess. But... Just when we start fighting bigger battles, because of the recording, it might make it slow down. Otherwise, it won't. Usually, it shouldn't. But just in case, you know. 
don't want to, I don't want it sluggish. You know, I'm trying to keep it as smooth as possible. Plus, you shouldn't notice too much. I mean, if everything's on, well, the like main on, on high, that should be fine. I mean, I should reiterate that um, I have a 1080. I know a lot of the other like Warhammer guys. They got like oh Warhammer guys, the Total War players, YouTubers. They got like the beast computers and stuff. So you know, I'm not saying my computer is like not beast at all. Actually, I actually really like my computer, but it doesn't have like the latest graphics card every time a graphics card comes out. You know, how long have I had this PC? It's about two years old now, I think. Can you please shoot now? Let's take you off skirmish, mate. If that's freaking me out, shoot them in the back, please. Oh, let's uh, bring everyone in now. Come on, take him. They are breaking. Oh, they're going to shot in the backs as well, so that's going to do some damage. Yep, they're breaking. Uh, our poor goblins and stuff, they're going to smash. That's it, we have victory. About 10 minutes. Very nice. Uh, no point in continuing because it's a siege. So we'll end it there. Victory is ours. So we lost 248. They lost about mm, 930, give or take. Very nice. Some remaining, but like I said, I mean, they'll just join our ranks now, won't they? We're going to eat them. We're going to make some orc stew or soup. I don't know what would be better, to be fair. Because a lot of them have broken teeth, so maybe they enjoy the pain of, like, ripping in with broken teeth. That's, um, we'll just occupy, because this is going to be, like, our main hold. Not this, like, specific settlement, but, you know, just here. So we got uh, Karak 8 Peaks to the uh, east, northeast, I should say. Uh, but we're just going to continue the war against our Crooked Fan. How many regions do they have? It, sh it should say settlements, yeah. So Red Fans, they still have three. Okay, they're down here to the south. Okay, that's fine. So we've got 6,000 gold, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, we need to replenish, actually. Oh, we can actually upgrade him again. We're going to go for the boys again, just because that gives us uh, more weapon damage and all that for our orc. Oh, we can go another point? Another point. Cool. Mm, should we finish it off? Um. Yeah. Before we make him a beast, I think we have to really buff up our orcs because they are quite weak starting out. So, yeah, we're going to... We have to do that. Can we afford another army? That could be cool. Uh, so close to the war. We need the war. Um, so, oh, our idols has been built. So now we're getting plus 40 turns. So we can actually upgrade the settlement next turn, which is pretty solid. So we'll do that. So that's in the turn. Let's replenish. Get some replenishment going. We'll go after the Crooked Fan Fort now. I mean, we're on good terms with all the other Orc factions at the moment, so not bad. And this is my favorite part about the green skins as well. It's like you have to consolidate all the Orcs like under your tribe. I think that's fantastic. Super fun. And we'll go after the um, Dwarves and go down south. You know, we'll, we'll be able to do everything, you know. I've never done like a um, a world conquest then like I wouldn't do that for like a let's play I think it's a bit long for that because I mean that will take ages because these these games take long anyway so you know so we might go for we start off with a short campaign victory and then go for the long campaign if we choose to if everyone's enjoying it you know who knows I hope everyone likes it <laughs> and um, like I said you know let me know if you like the thumbnail down below no, not down below the thumbnail just let me know down below i should say uh defensive allies with the scabby eyes who are you fighting though are you at war with the bloody hands though but we are friendly or we're we losing our friend mm. scabby eye but then no i like you to be a buffer state between us and everything else in the north there so we're gonna decline that i think You don't form alliances, you can just work for me, because I am Grimgor, and you'll do what I say. Okay, good fan for straight away. Ah, oh, wow! So that, now we can definitely do that. Um, how... We have to set a war, tar a war target. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, we'll send the war after them, actually. So we can actually, should be able to... 
Oh yeah, we can. You two level. We need two pops for that for level three. Um, hmm. Should we wait or upgrade that straight away? I think we should upgrade this straight away so we can build another big boss war tent because we still got some obedience issues going on. This should give us no. It doesn't give us any. It gives us two build slots, is it? Cross. But this is empty, so it's only the one. Okay. Well, we have to build the war boss thingy here because yeah. So we got um, savage orcs, some catapults, well, and the war armies are actually quite strong, to be fair, they are quite strong. So you're going to stay there, we'll end another turn, the war, let the war do it. Oh, yeah, next turn, they'll be able to go. At least they listen when you give them orders, I love that, that's absolutely amazing. We should actually stick together as well, but we need to just sort out the um, public order issues and all of that. Suitable climate. Okay. Send the war in, and then so after the red fans, you can go after the um, crooked egg peaks. Correct, great egg peaks. Um, this faction here, I don't know, you know exactly. Let's be careful. The dwarves are going to call. Um, we need heavier um, armor piercing before we start going after the dwarves. I think because our orcs are a bit squishy at the moment. He's just screaming his lungs out, isn't he? Don't blame him. He's, an, he's, a, he's a goblin. Yeah. Uh, yep. Scabby eye. Yep. What do you want? Military access. You see? Oh man. Yeah. I don't mind. That's fine. You can have military access. Just be friendly with us. Then it's all good. That's okay. Because we may need it later, and it just keeps them on side with us anyway, while we start all our things down the south. So it's cool. It's nice to have friends in the north. Okay. Uh, but we are coming up to half an hour now, so that's where I want to wrap things up for episode two of my Grimgore, well, my Greenskins um, campaign with Grimgore Ironhide for Warhammer 2. So, yeah, so drop a like and a comment down below as it will help the channel grow and subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Thanks for watching.